This past weekend, the University of Massachusetts hosted its annual homecoming, which held numerous events to satisfy returning alumni. Of course, the ever-popular tailgating was a highlight, with thousands of alumni and excited college students attending. There were even various activities for children, including a quick-paced football obstacle course and a massive blow-up slide located outside McWork Stadium. There was food outside the stadium for alumni as they awaited the main event of the weekend, the traditional homecoming football game. Once arriving in the stands, fans witnessed UMass veterans being honored for their military work at the center of the field, and UMass took an unusual entrance by gathering behind a customized Army National Guard Humvee. The Minutemen were confident going into the game, facing a 1-8 and eight Villanova team who hadn't beaten UMass at home since 1978. However, the Wildcats showed up to play, while the soon-to-be Division I Minutemen seemed to play off in the clouds for the majority of the game. Nova started off looking mediocre as usual, nearly fumbling the opening kickoff. But quarterback Chris Poloni wanted to start off strong with a drive, opening with his 12-yard run and a 7-yard pass completion. However, the Minutemen defense soon showed up, stuffing the Cats' run game on the drive while forcing Poloni to make bad throws. They then came up with a big sack when Perry McIntyre took down Poloni for a loss of 4 on 3rd down, and Nova then failed to convert on 4th and 16. Jonathan Hernandez had five rushes on the Minutemen opening drive, and Brandon Hill started his third game of the year at quarterback. Hill helped UMass to get downfield by completing two passes to Julian Talley and one to Jesse Jumisti, which ultimately set up a 24-yard field goal for Brandon Yelovich, putting the Minutemen on the board first. After a quick three and out for the Cats, UMass took over and Hill went back to his go-to guys, Tally and Jill Misty. However, on 4th and 1, he was unable to convert when he was sacked for a loss of 13 by safety Eric Loper. UMass defense came through again early in the second quarter, as Perry McIntyre came up with his second sack of the half and knocked Nova out of field goal range. The Wildcats punted the ball to the Minutemen 3-yard line, but Hill was able to get off the goal line with a 10-yard pass to Jill Misty. However, on the next play, Alan Williams fumbled the ball, giving Nova prime field position. Poloni then ran a 7-yard pad smacker to the 3-yard line. This set him up for an easy 3-yard touchdown pass to running back Austin Medley, which gave the Wildcats a lead they would never relinquish. Once UMass got the ball back, Hill immediately threw an interception to cornerback James Pitts. Poloni quickly brought Nova down the field and completed a 30-yard catch-and-run touchdown pass to Jamal Abdur Rahman, giving them two scores in a little over a minute. Julmisti then took the ensuing kickoff up the middle for 30 yards, hoping to spark something. But a few plays later, Hill was hit as he threw up a desperate floater, which was picked off by James Pitts yet again giving him two interceptions in two and a half minutes. Behind three separate running backs, a couple of Poloni completions, and another rattling run by the freshman QB, Medley, the redshirt freshman running back, ran an easy one in from three yards out for his second touchdown of the quarter, putting Villanova on top 21-3. to Hernandez got things going for the Minutemen in the next drive when he excited the fans with an agile 13-yard run. Hill then completed big passes to Tom Gilson and Joe Misty before Matt Campbell took his first collegiate rush into the house to cut the lead to 11. With just over a minute left in the half, Poloni was able to march his team down the field, capping off the drive with a 13-yard touchdown toss to wideout Dorian Wells, which provided the Cats with an intimidating 28-10 halftime lead. Hill opened up the half with poise, seeming comfortable completing 5 of 6 on his next drive. This included three catches by Tally, who had a career day setting a personal high in yards with 155. Late in the drive, the crowd took a scare when Hernandez was popped hard in the red zone and stayed on the ground for a couple of minutes. He was helped off the field, and Hill then came through on 4th and 2 to deliver a 12-yard touchdown pass to Tally to cut the lead back to 11. 
As for Hernandez, he was not seriously injured and returned later in the third. The Minutemen defense then came alive again, stopping the run and smothering Poloni. The Cats were still able to drive down the field, but on fourth and one in the red zone, Poloni was stuffed by a sea of maroon and white, and UMass took over from there, clearly hyped up and back in the game. Despite the momentum, Hill was unable to drive down the field as he coughed up the ball almost immediately to Villanova. After a costly pass interference call on the next drive, the Wildcats were in striking distance again. They then took advantage of the turnover when Lawrence Doss ran in untouched from seven yards out, giving Nova an 18-point lead going into the fourth quarter. With one last-ditch effort, Hill attempted to be a miracle maker by leading the Minutemen down the field with less than six minutes left. He was able to complete key passes to Tally and Gilson, but he threw one mistake into the end zone, which dramatically bounced off of Chumisti and into the hands of James Pitt yet again for his third interception of the evening. With time winding down, Nova went out with a bang as Abdur Rahman ran two down the field for 20-plus yards each. The Minutemen hoped to put this game behind them quickly as they head to Orono this Saturday to face Maine, who is currently atop the CAA standings.